Hi, and welcome to our instructional video that is designed to make you a smarter gambler. My name is Steve Borey, and I'm the author of the American Casino Guide, which is the number one best-selling book in the U.S. on the subject of casino gambling and travel, and the only book that comes with more than $1,000 in casino coupons. If you want to know more about the book, be sure to visit our website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com. And if you have an iPhone or iPad, be sure to download our free app. Just go to the App Store and search for American Casino Guide. In this video, Michael Shackelford, who is also known as the Wizard of Odds and the author of Gambling 102, gives a quick rundown on the best strategies for playing four popular casino games, Blackjack, Craps, Mississippi Stud, and Sick Bow. Now, here's Michael Shackelford. Blackjack is one of the best bets in the casino. If you remember just one thing about blackjack, it should be to never play six to five blackjack, referring to how much a blackjack pays. Always insist on the full three to two. Other than that, you should still hunt around for good rules. The fewer the decks, the better. It's good if the dealer stands on a soft 17. It's good if you can double after a split, surrender, resplit aces. But if you don't remember all that, just remember never, ever, ever play six to five blackjack. Now I'm going to go over with you my simple wizard's basic strategy to blackjack. This is a little different than the standard basic strategy, but this is much easier to remember and is almost as good. First of all, if you have eight or less points, just hit. If you have nine points, then we got to talk about small cards and big cards. If the dealer has a small card showing, uh, meaning a 2 through a 6, then you double. If the dealer has a big card, meaning a 7 through an ace, then you just hit it. With a 10 or an 11, then you double down if you have more points than the dealer. For example, if you have a 10, then you double if the dealer has a 9 or less. If you have an 11 and a dealer has a 10 or less, then you double down. With a 12 to a 16, which you'll see all the time, stand if the dealer has a small card, hit if he has a big card. Now let's talk about the soft hands. Those are hands where you have an ace in your hand. If you have a soft 15 or less, just always hit it. If you have a soft 16 to 18, double if the dealer is showing a small card, hit otherwise. If you have a soft 19 or more, then just stand. Now let's talk about splitting. If you have a pair of twos, threes, sixes, sevens, or nines, split against the dealer's small card. If the dealer has a big card, then revert to the hard total strategy I just went over. If the dealer, if you have a pair of eights or aces, always split them, and you never split fours, fives, or tens. Finally, if there's one situation you should surrender is 16 against a 10. Surrender that. That's going to get you almost to the full power of the much more complicated basic strategy. The house advantage in blackjack can range anywhere from 0.2% to 0.8%, assuming they pay 3 to 2 on a blackjack. The dreaded 6 to 5 has a house advantage of about 2%. Playing 6 to 5 blackjack would be like paying $20 for a gallon of gas. Um, and for comparative purposes right now, it's $3.50 a gallon. For more information about blackjack or any casino game, please visit my website, wizardofodds.com, where I have the wizard's simple blackjack strategy that I just went over. Craps is also one of the best bets in the casino. The rules are a little bit complicated, but um, just remember this. The four best bets are the pass, don't pass, come, and don't come, and always back those up with uh, the maximum odds that you're comfortable taking. Avoid all the sucker bets in the middle of the table. Just stick to those line bets. Most casinos here in Las Vegas allow what's called three, four, five times odds. That's how much you can bet on the odds. If that's the rule, then the uh, combined house advantage between the um, pass and the odds is 0.37%. And laying odds on a three, four, five times table, uh, the house advantage between the don't pass and odds is 0.27%. So the odds are a little bit better on the so-called dark side, betting the don't pass and laying the odds. But what's most important is just avoid everything in the middle of the table. They're all sucker bets. Stick to the line bets and the odds. 
Mississippi Stud is one of the new casino games out there. It plays kind of like the old Let It Ride. Instead of pulling back your money, as you're seeing your cards, you can add more money if you have good cards. Uh, what you win is based solely on your own hand. The dealer doesn't take a, any cards at all. And the house advantage, all things considered, is 4.91%. And I'm just going to go over real quickly the strategy with your first two cards at the first decision point. You should make the big raise if you have any pair. If you have one high card, where a high card is a jack through an ace, then make the small one times your ante raise. If you have two medium cards, a medium card being a six through a ten, make the small one x raise, or if you have six five suited. The um, strategy for the other decision points are on my website, wizardofodds.com, and if you see any side bets on the game, avoid them. All side bets are sucker bets. Sick Bow is perhaps the oldest casino game out there. It's a little hard to find in the United States, but it's all over the place in Macau. It's based simply on the roll of three dice. There's dozens of different ways you can bet on the outcome, but there's only two good bets on the whole table, the small and the big. The small wins if the total on the dice is 10 or less. The big wins if the total is 11 or more. They both pay even money. However, they both lose if the, uh, if a three of a kind is rolled. The house advantage is 2.78%. Every other bet on the table is a sucker bet. They carry very high house advantages. And that's all you need to know about Sickbo. If you want to know more about me or about how to play any of hundreds of different casino games, please visit my website, wizardofodds.com, or you can buy my book, Gambling 102. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.